four years, the minibus sector has aimed to modernize through the adoption of a cashless system. However, attaining the goal of a cashless system has been out of reach for the transportation sector, still struggling to align all the necessary parts for a flawless execution of the idea. The cashless system is in an advanced stage. Um, we've spoken to a local bank, which we know I will, I, I will not mention, the, I'm not privy to mention the, the bank's name right now. But the bank is, we, in dialogue with a bank, we have spoken with a bank and we know they have the platform for what the cashless system requires. Um, we also need the legislation, which is always a big, a big holdback for the bus sector. We need the legislation to tie the permit to the cashless system. Because if you understand well, the, the, the cashless system will not work until everybody's on board. And um, it's not that you're forcing everybody to be on board, but you need the legislation to tie the cashless system to the, 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 the route permit. How would a cashless system work in St. Lucia's transportation sector? National Council of Public Transportation, NCOPT, PRO, Spencer McPhee, says the organization was nearing a solution, but was derailed by COVID-19. Like I said, it's coming on soon, but it's in the pipeline. It's in the pipeline. We're in dialogue. I mean, like I told you, we've spoken to the bank. So the platform is there. We know that the platform for the setup of the cash system is there. We're in dialogue with the ministry and also the company who's set it up. Well, we have more than one company, but we're in dialogue with the company. Um, I must say before COVID, post-COVID, and I'm not using COVID as an excuse, we were in an advanced stage already. I mean, we saw COP, we saw a demonstration of the transporters, transponders. We saw what the card for the cash system would be like. And um, we're in an advanced stage before COVID. Driver and passenger safety is a pressing reason for implementing a cashless system in St. Lucia's transportation sector, the bus lobby says. A troubling local account involved a bus driver allegedly stabbed by a female secondary school student after a fair dispute. No official police statement has been issued. A modern cashless system using contactless smart cards or mobile payment apps would revolutionize payment methods, mitigating fair disputes, and creating a safer travel environment.